to the Star Wars Origami Puppet Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you two folds. The first one is my favorite fold, the Universal Puppet. I really like this fold because it can be anything from Luke Skywalker here to a super battle droid. First, you're going to start with a piece of white paper. It can be, a, I have plain white paper, but you could use construction paper or origami paper. And so you're just going to cut that in half. So, I want my loop to be tall, so I'm going to hold my paper this way. But if you're making a character like Yoda, say, or an astromech droid like R2-D2, you, could, you should probably hold your paper this way, the short way. So, it has three main folds. You're going to start by folding this up here, however big you want your character's body or whatever um, uniform they have on. Next, you're going to flip your paper over, and you're going to fold this over about halfway. Then, you're going to fold this over. It's okay if it doesn't quite match up, because this is going to be the back of your puppet. Then, you're going to notice this looks a bit loose, so you're just going to tuck this right into here like that. Then, I think my loop looks a bit tall like this, so I'm going to fold this down to the uniform. You can adjust this however you like to make your character how you want them. Then, you're going to just take a piece of tape right here and just tape this down just to make that extra secure. So then you're going to fold these corners back if your character has a round head to give it that humanoid shape so it can look more like your character. You can adjust these however you want. This is just an example of how you could do it. Next, it's time to get your markers, crayons, colored pencils, or whatever drawing tools you have to decorate your character. So, you can decorate your character however you like. I like to put a lot of detail in mine, like this look that I've made. Or you can do less detail. You can put in as much detail or as little as you like. Also, you can add accessories like I did Luke's green lightsaber here, or this Stormtrooper's gun and arm which I taped on. Next, for use of your puppet, there's a little hole here you can stick your finger in so you can move him around a bit. Hello, hello. Here's some other universal puppets I've made. Okay, now for the second fold. This one is for R2-D2 and C-3PO. So, for R2-D2, you're going to start by holding the paper this way because R2-D2 is short. You can follow the same instructions making C-3PO this way for the tall way. These are the R2-D2 and C-3PO I have made. And so, here are the instructions for R2. First, you're going to fold this up however large you want R2-D2's dome to be. This, that's this part right here. Okay, now we're just going to move these out of the way. Next, you're going to turn your paper over like this and then flip your paper over to the back side. Then, just like the universal fold, you're going to fold it in like this. Next, you're going to sort of fold this over a bit like this. This is going to be for R2-D2's legs. 
to do the same on the other side, you're going to just untuck that like that and put that right there and do the same. It's okay if it's not even. I found it really hard to get them lined up. Your R2-D2 so far will look a bit like this. Then you're going to flip your R2-D2 over. You're just going to fold that any little points he has on his head out of the way. Those legs look fairly even. Next, you're going to flip your paper back over and sort of fold these points right over just so um, it looks a bit like this. You're going to do the same on the other side. Now, to make the roundness of your dome, just like the universal puppet for the head, you're just going to fold these corners back so the head looks fairly rounded. Now, the R2-D2 puppet doesn't actually have a hole you can put your finger. So, I just like to make one out of scotch tape. To make it, it's a bit tricky, but once you've gotten the hang of it, it's pretty easy. Just helps if you have a little piece of tape there as well. So now, it's time to decorate your R2. There you have it, your own R2-D2 puppet. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Here's some more Star Wars origami puppet folds I've made from Tom Engelberger's hit series, Origami Yoda. If you don't have the books at home, you can download them on the library's Overdrive page as an ebook. For more stars fun, I recommend Star Wars Jedi Academy by Jeffrey Brown. Thanks for watching!